on your mind. This might be enough motivation to get your abs in gear to firm up the middle and to achieve those six-pack abs you've always wanted. With a clean diet and the right training strategy, you can accomplish a chiseled core. I have created a three-week program to get you well on your way. Each week I will provide you with a new set of exercises that progress from the previous week. You will do these exercises in conjunction with your current fitness program. Now let's go ahead and learn the core exercises for week one's workout. For week one's workout, you will perform the core exercises on two non-consecutive days plus an additional plank day. This will give you three total core days to add into your workouts. You will perform your own warm-up and cool-down. Each exercise will be performed for 20 reps, two sets through, in circuit format. The incline depends on your current fitness level, so be sure to challenge yourself as the week progresses. Have your cables attached. The first exercise is a pullover crunch. You'll face it away from your tower and come down to a supine position with your arms and legs extended. As the arms come down towards the glide board, you'll crunch the upper body. Be sure to keep your core engaged and your back in contact with the glide board at all times. To add a challenge, extend the legs straight. Next, you'll go into bicycle crunch. Begin to bicycle the legs and let the arms follow to the opposite side. Keep your chest lifted at all times. The lower the legs, the harder the challenge. Next, you'll move into straight leg V-ups. Extend the arms straight so that they don't move. The legs will come up into a V position. As they come up, let the lower back roll off of the glide board to activate through the lower abs. The lower the legs, the harder the challenge. Next, you'll roll up, flip it around for back extension sweeps. So come into a prone position, extend the arms straight, and as they come down by your side, you'll start to extend through the torso. This will activate your upper, middle, and lower back muscles. And your last exercise are cable chops. So you can come to a seated or a high kneeling position. You'll rotate away from your tower to really work through your obliques. This is such a great exercise to whittle through the middle. So be sure to do it on both sides. Now those are all of the exercises that you will perform. Let's go ahead and learn the exercises for your plank days. For the plank work, you will choose one extra day to include into your workouts. You will perform the exercises in circuit format by time sets. For beginners, you'll hold for 30 to 60 seconds and increase the time for more of a challenge. The first exercise is a high plank hold. So come to a plank position with your shoulders on top of your wrist, your core is engaged, and your legs are extended long. Then you'll drop down to a forearm plank hold. Again, keeping correct form at all times. Then you'll switch to a side plank position. Be sure to hold for the same amount of time on both sides. You'll perform all of those exercises two sets through without any rest. So those are all of your exercises for this week's challenge. You can refer to the blog for more information and to get a scheduled chart to refer to. So good luck accomplishing those ripped abs, and I look forward to seeing you next week for the new challenge.